I'm Eric. I'm Tom. And Tom's invited me over today to help him rebuild his fort. Did you get to say that? what I told you to say? I, I honestly wasn't listening. You say this is the first time we've ever taken on a project like this. We're going to show you how badly. Uh, I'm Eric. I'm Tom. And Tom's invited me over to do a little DIY in his driveway today. Today, we're going to show you how to change the fork springs and oil on your traditional damper rod fork like you might find on the FZ07 or SV650. I'm not sure why Tom's invited me because the majority of my projects usually end up with my bike in the shop. Ask him about his oil pan incident. We have the wrong socket for the fork cap because I didn't do my research. 24 millimeter socket or wrench for the fork cap, and that's probably how it is for most uh, right side up forks that are on bikes like the FZ07, the SV650, the Mighty Gladius 650, the second gen SV650. Uh, it's all the same fork, so same fork bolt. All right, Tom, tell them what you got. Okay, we went to the store and I bought a, uh, this. Oh, there's a bike boy. More importantly, this 24 millimeter deep socket. Damn, all right, how can we get in there? Without stripping these bolts. Next problem, we have only SAE wrenches because I only have SAE wrenches. Tom doesn't have wrenches. This is how most of our projects go. So we're gonna dig around my toolbox and I do have a bunch of miscellaneous millimeter wrenches and we're gonna see uh, see what we can find in that. Will it be? 12. Wow, 12. I find it hilarious that you bought two sets of non-metric wrenches. Is it working, Tom? You bet. Thanks be to Eric's toolbox of random shit. Do I want to say pro tip? I learned from the internet that before you remove a fork leg, you should loosen the fork cap because it's very hard to do once it's off the bike. So you keep it in the clamp to loosen it. Tighten this back up. There it is. We can clean it up. But now, it's time for the important part. I'm gonna put a little bit downward pressure on it because that spring is gonna wanna push it up. Fork cap, spacer. OEM spring. There's a washer on top of the spring. We're gonna be replacing the spacer with PVC pipe that we cut because the race tech springs I'm gonna put in are much shorter. Next, we wanna remove the oil from the fork. You wanna pump it a few times. <laughs> Schedule 40 PVC is totally okay to use as a fork spacer. Race tech themselves has said that. This is hopefully our new spacer. It's a pretty rough cut, but might work. And just in case people are looking for it, we'll be doing um, a review on that studio apartment size saw. File away those burrs. Oh, bug. Fully compressed. 96 millimeters. Okay. Oh, that's good. Give me the thumbs up or something. This is a fork oil level gauge. Uh, Tool, fork oil level tool. So you put this in the fork, right, after you've filled it with oil. And in our case, the fork oil level needs to be 96 millimeters from the top of the fork. We'd stick this in there, 
and remove the excess oil. What kind of tool are you using? Oh, it's a Leatherman. Yeah, I mean, I'm an adult. Tony, you wanted to show how to get uh, one of these little things open here? Let's just, uh, um, most companies, they'll give you a little tab on here that you can sort of peel and then pull. Unfortunately, what you'll find on these uh, these spectro fork oils is that there's actually no little tab. So once again, we're gonna use the Leatherman to get this thing open. Chug, chug, oh, chug, it's purple. chug. You gotta stop. That's too much. Okay. Whoop. So now we need to pump the fork leg a few times to dispel any air bubbles in the fork. At this point, with your fork fully compressed, you can start to reassemble with your new components. So we're gonna start with our fork spring, I think, right? Okay, fork spring's in there. New mm. fork spacer. Washer on top of that. And now we can reinstall our fork cap. This is easier in the videos. I don't think that's gonna stop. We are not professionals. We do not recommend that you do this at home. Take it to your local mechanic. <laughs>